Alright guys, hi and welcome back to another episode of watching new play World of Warcraft, it's a Pandaren Monk. In today's episode we are going to continue our adventure in Northrend. And of course, um, what we're going to do today, I was thinking of doing another dungeon for um, to make up last dungeon actually, because we did the same one twice. But that could also mean that we would have to do... Otkart, what, what was the name? I keep forgetting what the name is, just give me one second. It could mean that we have to do Otkart Keep Over again, which isn't really that cool, but I'm willing to risk it, so if you guys are also willing to risk it, then... Or, you know what, let's do it. Um, we're leaving the queue, we're going to do um, one quest. Or not one quest, we are going to do a few quests around here. And... Oh yeah, we're supposed to kill uh, or impale some guy. And if that all works out, then we are going to... Um, do a dungeon in the next episode or something. But just something to... Uh, something different. Just this once. That should be alright. Alright, let's just uh, read this quest here for a second. Um, a lesson in fear. Over here. Golf wants you to kill Ulf Bloodladder, Ulrich the Bilfu and Connor Torfensen, and drive the Forsaken Banger through their corpses. Slay Vrekel across the Forsaken Blockade until they disappear or appear. I'm sorry, I meant appear. Um. Bu -bu 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 oh, wait, this is actually. No! <laughs> Damn it! Alright, doesn't matter. I just woke up, so, uh. Even though it's uh, 30 past 5 or whatever you, you say the time. Um, so what do I have to do? Uh, Alright, so I have to fight Winter Skurn? Okay, so yeah. So we just have to pwn some buff here around, around this area. Well, I'm still actually pretty tight. I have a feeling... That because I just installed my new hard drive and I have a feeling, I'm not sure if it's true, but that the recording and everything goes a lot smoother. Um, if it's actually true, I don't know. We'll see that after this recording, of course, but I don't know. Maybe it's just the great vibe that I got on, you know? Something tells me that everything's going to be alright. Let's just pull in all of these guys, even... Yeah! Oh, it's not a Finnish guild. Why? Come on, I don't want to be in a Finnish guild, bro. That's pretty annoying, to be honest. Why would you... Uh... I don't know. I I'd never create a guild in my own language, I guess. And then start actively... I don't know. Oh, well. Whatever they want to do. I'm just going to... Stay with the English folks and uh, pwn some butt around here. I have a feeling this is just uh, this is probably like the uh, the Finnish guild or something or a server. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter about it. We are going to create our own English guild. <laughs> no Finnish people allowed. <laughs> nah. All right, come on. Winter Scorn Spearman. Spearman. I want to impale you with my spear. You Winter Scorn. What the hell are you doing? Alright, so... Mm, by the way, in, in last episode someone uh, made a smart remark about the, uh, the, the music in the, uh, in the game and... That's really cool, and I kind of agree with it. I mean, it's just just listen to it. It's very peaceful and all, and I don't know. You guys can enjoy it more than I can because I always have to turn my volume down. So, but this music just I don't know. It has something magical to it. I don't know. It's really weird, and I remember when Red of the Lichkin was just released, and I don't know when this was all unknown to me and I know it's like playing something for the first time again you ever get this feeling like when you're somewhere for the first time I mean the impact is much bigger and even now it still impacts me a lot I guess it just yeah 
I don't know, it's really cool. It has something mystical, mysterious, I don't know, something about it. And the musical really defines that, or I don't, I don't know, it's just an awesome job for the developers and I don't know, whoever is responsible. Hey, buddy! You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? Yeah? Gonna son of Torvard? Think you are cool and everything, oh, don't you? I have some bad news for you because you are not cool. You are dead. You will cool down, that's what you're going to do. Alright. Forsaken banner. Hello! Drive this scum from the Vikrol Vikrol homeland! Well, I'm going to drive you over with a car, you bum. Alright, come on. Time for you to die. You've been here long enough now. Yep, you're dead as well. 2k of experience, if hell well come. And now they should- Oh, do I have to impale you as well? I'm impaling you! Yeah. And who else dares to challenge me now? It looks like... It is... The one and only... Alright, I'm just... Be being burnt. What the hell do I have to do now? Oh, I impaled the wrong guy. I'm impaling you now, the correct guy. And now we are going to fight. We are going to fight the one and only. The one and only. I don't know. This is uh, rather disappointing. All right, we'll just go, uh, go on and continue killing these guys. Let's just pull in a few more. I mean, we're a tank after all. You might fail in uh, in dungeons, just dungeons because we're on the gate, but this we might pull off. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll pull this off. Yeah, easily. No stress at all. And oh yeah, yeah. Full of pride and full of rage, but we're stronger. I'm sorry. And. You know, another thing that was really cool about Wrath of the Lich King, in my uh, experience, is that uh, once you, you enter Wrath of the Lich King, everything, I mean everything, was so freaking huge. Uh, look, look in the distance, what the fuck is that? It's a storm giant, you know, it's just something really big and gigantic just w walking around and wow, it, it just such an experience to get here and then you, you got here and then these guys, who appeared human from a distance, are like twice your size and you're like, whoa, what the fuck is all this? And it's just, wow. I don't know, it's, it's really cool. Really cool. But it isn't cool that we can't find Auric the Baleful Corpse. So that really sucks. Alright, that... That's okay, we can find something to do around here. We can, we're just, um, yeah. This quest took me an, an entire episode, but hopefully it's worth it. And we're getting some badass gear, that would be great. What are we getting for this? We are getting some gear, but can we... All right, this is like uh, not gear for us, actually. Um, all right, these are... Uh, Mana gears or whatever you want to call them. You know what? System. Oh. Shall I do that? No, I'm not going to do that. That might screw up the... Uh, but I will... Put the sound quality much higher. Yeah, that's something we should do. And I'm just sending in the fire. Waiting for... Uh, Auric the Baleful uh, to appear. And he's not really appearing now, is he? Hello, buddy. Time for you to die as well. Alright, I haven't used Touch of Death in a long time, so let's... Uh, touch of Death. Yep. That's right. You are dead, my son. Now, when you win this corn defender, you shall die as well. And you should shut up, phone, and you shall die too. Come on. And he 
he's dead too. Oh, you're standing over there, Auric the Baleful. I didn't know that. Why didn't you tell me so? Oh, you're there for... Oh, you just got there. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. Well, thank you for joining us today. And in today's episode, uh, we kind of devoted this episode to kill you, so... We thank you very much. And, of course, I'm going to impale you. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that felt great. Alright. Let's uh, mount up on our... Black War Mammoth. Whoop. And let's turn in our quest at uh, Sergeant Kof. And Sergeant Kof is a... Uh, a non-dead thing. He isn't really undead, but he's forsaken, I guess. Stormborn! Yay! Um, PvP orientated, but I'm not PvP orientated, bro. Sorry. Alright, I'm going for this thing because it's worth the most of gold. Even though this gives me some extra armor, I... I'm losing some agility which I need and I'm gaining a little bit stamina but not worth it. So that's why I took this uh, this staff instead of the, uh, the pants. Alright. Let's uh, get these things. Oh, why are you all... No! <laughs> why? I want some gear for us. Alright. Now let's burn down these uh, these buildings in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't done so, so you stay updated with all of my episodes. Uh, don't forget to rate this video as well. Click the like button. That really helps me out a lot. Just uh, click on it right now. And of course, don't forget to like the Facebook page for awesome screenshots. Such as this one right here. And by the way, guys, I have put the screenshots on yesterday, uh, I believe. And today is uh, 24th of June, so I put them down uh, yesterday and they are pretty cool. And some extra um, footage from the Burning Crusade as well, which you guys haven't seen because I forgot to upload it. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. They're in albums, it's called um, Outland and of course Northfront. So just check them out and I'll see you in my next episode. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.